Your name is Troy. Uh, Troy. Hello, this is Troy Braxton. Hello. Hey. Um, this is such a, a great honor to talk to you both, so thank you. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Pleasure. Where are you? Uh, I'm in Sydney, Australia. Ah, nice town. Love it. Yeah, thank you. Um, look, let me start by asking you, Mr. Ford, uh, to take you back 40 years um, and ask for your reaction when you first uh, were offered the part of Indiana Jones and what you thought of it. Uh, I thought it was a brilliant opportunity to work with a fantastic filmmaker. I'd read the script and I thought I was very anxious to be a part of it. And I was grateful that Tom Selleck had another job. What, what, what were your thoughts about the actual character, about Indiana Jones, about uh, the role and, and what you would be doing in that film? I, I could see an opportunity uh, to have a lot of fun, to bring a character to, to, to life in the context of, of uh, uh, a, a world that I understood to be the world of movies. There's, the movie is more about movies and the fun you can have in movies than it is about archaeology. And I've sensed right away that, I, that, uh, that with combination of Stephen and George and, uh, and the script that uh, Larry Kasdan had written, I felt like I had stumbled into a pot of gold. <coughs> and let me just follow that up by asking you about this current movie. Uh, we see Indiana Jones, of course, as older, wiser, more experienced. How has the character evolved and changed over the five films? He's gotten older, much older. How else, Harrison? Well, How else? he's learned a few things. <laughs> he's, he's made some friends, he's made some enemies. He's got he's, some, he's he's, 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 he's had some hits, he's had some losses. Fortune and glory, fortune and glory. I, you know, what I, what I feel is that I've been the luckiest actor in the world to have stumbled into this kind of, of uh, storytelling, to work with these kinds of directors, to bring this kind of joy to an audience. I can feel uh, the pleasure that, I, that an audience will, will, which we are able to bring to an audience. Let me ask you, Mr. Mangold. I, uh, I saw the films as a kid um, and I'm now taking my own children to see these films and we've been watching them at home. What do you think is the magic that gives Indiana Jones such generational appeal? Um, it's, a, it's, it's a love letter to classical golden age filmmaking. Um, it's some of the most talented people in the world from top to bottom, from stunts to music to visual effects to, of course, the director um, of the previous four installments. Um, great acting great actors, great writing, um, but it's also what's unusual about Indiana Jones compared to other uh, summer pictures or big pictures is that I think there's so much humor, there's so much fun, it's kind of a, as I was saying, it's kind of golden age, but also there's a screwball quality, the action is always witty, the action isn't just brutal or kind of visceral, but also there's a kind of wit, it makes you smile. Uh, it makes you think about the pluck of these characters, uh, uh, so outnumbered, doing their very best um, amid all their own anxieties and fears and eccentricities. I think the other thing, the other thing that Stephen and George did from the beginning um, that we tried to follow with this is that each Indiana Jones movie exists in the kind of the same world as the other, but each is a, is a slightly different film. Um, Raiders is a kind of classical heroic adventure um, following this kind of character through this struggle that ends up yielding these miracles of spirituality uh, foisted upon him. The second one is much more of a pulpy exercise in kind of voodoo and kind of is much more of a kind of uh, uh, is much more playful if you will um, and and then Last Crusade is a kind of father-son it's almost like um, you know, it's like a buddy picture, uh, only only within the Indiana Jones context. And so each movie stakes out its own ground and its own themes and operates within the rule book that is kind of being assembled live for what is an Indiana Jones film, but at the same time expanding that universe and that, that, that playground of what can be an Indiana Jones film. 
Yeah, Mr. Ford, let me ask you, you've played a number of iconic characters several times, Han Solo, Rick Deckard, Jack Ryan, but none more than Indiana Jones. Uh, um, what is it that attracts you to him as a character, and is he your favourite? I don't have favourites. I have five children. I don't have a favourite child. I don't have a favourite film or filmmaker. Every experience goes together to help form and inform the actor in me. And I want to give that uh, uh, every opportunity I have with the, with the audience. I want to give them the best I have. That, makes, that means making choices about the stories that I tell, the people that I work with. Um, and I would not have that freedom if it weren't for the for the pleasure that I've been able, that the audience has, uh, has had with these films. So I'm a part of a very large uh, machinery uh, that is great writing, great directors, the best uh, uh, technicians and, and artists. Uh, that could be assembled at any given point, time, uh, moment in time. It's been the mo It's been a very, very gratifying experience to be Indiana Jones. But it doesn't make it my favorite. I don't have a favorite. I love the fact that I've lived different lives. I've had the chance to explore different characters, different lives. That to me is the joy of having only one life to live as Harrison Ford, but 40 lives to live as an actor. There are some terrific callbacks, Mr. Ford, in this film to the previous films uh, that fans will recognize. What are you hoping that fans, old and new, take away from this film? Because as you said at the opening, it is a great movie experience. I think I want people to feel a, remu a, a renewed sense of value uh, in how one lives uh, their life. I want people to notice um, the change in the character when his when his uh, potentially uh, I don't want, I don't even want to get into this. I think the end of the movie is fantastic. There's a wonderful emotional context uh, that I, I especially am, am, uh, value uh, in, the, in, the, in the, the character uh, story uh, at the very end of this film.